the Kiwis yeah, played well. I think they've got a few key players in there. Brendan McCullum, I think, in that game got 90-odd. Um, and, and, yeah, he's, he's obviously a T20 guru, so he's going to be one very, very key player for them. But, but I think the thing about the Kiwi is, uh, Kiwis is they don't rely just on a Brendan McCullum. You know, they, they've got match winners all the way down the batting order. They've got a very disciplined um, bowling unit, and that fielding is always very strong. So that's what I think the strengths of the Kiwis are. Uh, it's, they play a real team game. You know, it's, it's not relying on just the one, one player. And, and, and that's what I think one of the strengths of the Australian team is as well. Uh, yeah, it was good to good to get back out there. Uh, we've got to try and get used to the, these new conditions as quickly as possible. Um, the pitches are are different than the subcontinent, but um, but yeah, we, we've um, played on similar sort of tracks before, so it was good just to get out there and just sort of get started and get the feel of Sri Lankan conditions again. Um, uh, as, as in comparison to Dubai, uh, it's a bit cooler. <laughs> there was quite a nice breeze coming across the ground. It was still quite humid out there, but um, it, it was a lot. Uh, maybe we're used to it a little bit more, but um, we can handle the humidity a lot, a lot better. But it's a good first hit out, definitely. Well, I don't think it necessarily relates to any particular ground, <clears throat> but um, well, for me personally, I like to use it just to, you know, when you when you are sort of looking to hit sixes or hit fours, um, it's been able to keep your shape. So I'm just trying to work on my swing and making sure it's in a uh, get it, getting a nice shape and not, yeah, as I say lose it, losing our shape. I think that's when uh, you sort of make mistakes. So. It's about trying to groove that, groove that as much as possible, and getting a feel about how far you can sort of hit the ball. So if you know a boundary's, you know, 69 or 65 metres, you get, you know, if you get it right, you can, you know, um, gauge whether you might be able to clear it or not. So it's pretty much it, really. It's not, there's no massive science to it or anything like that. It's just mainly practicing our swing. So when we're under pressure, we need to, we need to find a six or a four, and we've got to give ourselves the best chance. Yeah. And um, I think I've got a duck here in the One Day International I played, so I'll be looking to improve on that. <laughs> um, no, I think we won the, the one, the one, we won the One Day Series last time I was here, so that, that's a great memory, and, and we got to t sing the team song here, so that was fantastic. I think it's a great stadium, particularly when this, it's full, it can make a lot of noise and lots of energy and lots of excitement in the crowd. Um, the pitch I found has been interesting. It's like it, it can give a little bit for everyone. I found the fast bowlers sometimes they can get a little bit of uneven bounce, a bit of extra bounce. Um, I found the spinners can be in the game, um, which is traditionally over here. But also, if you bat really well, you know you can you can score good runs as well. So I think it's a very good cricket pitch, as in it keeps everyone interested in the game. But I think it's reasonably good indication by the three games we played in Pakistan what sort of balanced team we want to go for. Um, obviously, they'll have to assess the conditions here as well and the pitches that we're going to be playing on, but. Um, yeah, I, I just think T20 is such a up and down game, really. That it, it's nice if you sort of if you can find your balanced team and, and and then you stick with it for as long as possible. Give the players the confidence to be able to to go out there and, and just know that you know the, this one innings or this one bowling performance isn't isn't the be all and end all. And uh, I think it's important that you've got that continuity in your team for for over a period of time.